Okay, COJ USD teachers, here's another little trick that may make uh, <clears throat> your life a little bit easier when you're using Doc Hub. Now, many of uh, many of you have already started with Google Classroom, done a really good job doing implementing uh, that app. Um, another new app that a lot of you are jumping on, jumping in with is uh, Doc Hub, um, which allows you to mark text and students to fill out worksheets digi digitally through Google Drive on the Chromebooks. Now the one issue with using Doc Hub and Google Classroom together, you can send the PDF for them to open with Doc Hub through Google Classroom. The problem is they cannot submit their changes to the PDF through Google Classroom. The only way that a Doc Hub edited PDF can be submitted is through email. Um, and a lot of you have been asking, well, man, you know what, when, I, when the students uh, send me the email, uh, with their Doc Hub edited PDF, my inbox is just totally blown up, and it just I have to go sort through all these different emails. And uh, well, I have a little trick here that will help, kind of help you with this. This is called to what you do here is you create a filter in Gmail, so you can set a filter for pretty much anything. It can be from a certain group of students. It can be from just based on the subject line. You can set the and then it bypasses your inbox and goes into a, a folder that you've already created. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to kind of demonstrate a little one way that you can do this. So I'm going to go over here where it says more. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I have a lot of stuff here, so bear with me. Click on create new label. And I'm going to make a label. We're going to call this uh, science project. So if I have a student create a science project, <clears throat> I am going to create that label. Now, if I have multiple classes doing this, well, <clears throat> well what I'm going to do, is now that I have my, I'm going to send all those emails that the students send me with their science project, it's going to skip my inbox. It won't show up right here. It's going to go straight to my science project folder you see right here. So to do that, to skip your inbox so it doesn't clutter your inbox from all your other important messages, we're going to, we, create a filter by going to settings. We click again right here on settings. And we're going to go to filters and blocked addresses. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit it, create a new filter. So I like to do it by subject. So maybe for each different little assignment you do this way, you create a new folder for it. And then you can keep those messages, messages as long as you need them. But I'm going to create by the subject. So I'm going to have the students, when they send me their uh, send me their project through Doc Hub, they have to change the subject to say exactly this. So we're going to call it Science Project. So that they're going to make sure they type the word Science Project for the subject, and when they do that and they send it, it's going to go straight into my Science Project folder. So once I type in Science Project, I'm going to cl click Create Filter with the search. I want it to skip the inbox, and then right here I'm going to choose my Science Project label, so it'll go straight to the, to, into that label that folder and I click create filter and now it shows up right here science project and I can go back and edit it if I want to change the parameters for the uh, for the filter so let's go ahead and test this out in this tab here I have open uh, my demo account and I'm gonna send a demo message to myself type in science project is my subject line I'm just gonna call this test click on send if I go back to my inbox here, nothing shows up here. If I go down here to Science Project, there it is. It skipped my inbox and went straight in here. So I can keep all these different student uh, <clears throat> student submissions separate from my inbox. So I can all my work emails are going to be kept separate from all the student emails that are emailing me th this kind of work. You, you could set up a filter for each period or you can put them all in one, it's up to you. Um, hopefully this is helpful. If you would like me to sit down with you and help you set this up, uh, go ahead and send me a message on Google Hangouts, uh, send me an email, or simply give me a phone call. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, see you next time.